Alright, before we start this video, I just want to know how are you guys feeling? Um, just in general, and for how are you guys feeling from the straight up hype that is Siraki's Bunkai? Because right now, I'm a little bit, I don't even know, like, my mind is out there. Like, freaking hell, Siraki! Ah, uh, okay, the man's a demon right now. That's what we have to solidify right there in this chat. That's what we have to put out there. Because the man is transformed. He's in a new form. This is like some next Super Saiyan kind of thing. It's like, ah, like freaking... What? You know what it just really reminds me of? Um, ah, I'm not, I don't know much about Naruto, but... I don't know much about Naruto, but I've, I've read a bit of it. It's, um... Ah, freaking hell. Rock Lee does it. He breaks the... Uh, is it the eighth gates or something like that? I can't remember. But stuff like that, it really gave me those kind of vibes. But what even more, what other vibes it gave me was freaking each who got busted all day. Like, man, 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 man. Like, uh, he bit off Gerard's arm. Can we just, can we put that out there? Like, now with, I know that's on a whole other level of like Kubo's things, with, you know, cutting off the arms and that. But like, he bit off Gerard's arm. Gerard. Kimpachi is not out here just to get a W. Kimpachi is also out here to get himself a nice snack because the man is hungry. The man is a straight up savage. He, actually, he's not even the man anymore. The animal. The monster. Like, mmm. Kubo. Kubo, you gotta chill. You gotta chill. You gotta chill, man. Like, that whole spread page, that whole page just dedicated to Zoraki's face. Kudos for that freaking artwork because that artwork was madness. But like the savagery, the ferocious, the, the I can't even speak. Like the violent nature of that, and uh, you still, I like it because um one it's just like he's a no he's in a whole other form right now. Like he just looks like a straight up beast. So he looks such he looks so awesome right now. Like the design is on his face and everything that's so cool. Like, I'm um, straight up hyped. And the fact that, like, his skin colours changed, like, to straight red. So it's, like, straight up bloodlust, kind of. That's what it's kind of giving me those thoughts of. But it's just... <sighs> we, we've made it. We've made it. We've actually... I, I can go to sleep right now. I'm, sat I'm satisfied for today. Today I'm pretty satisfied. I'm, 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 I'm good with this day. Because this chapter, it's put me in good rest. I'm at peace with this chapter. Like... This whole week I've been theorizing like I remember over the internet, there'd be so many like fan made pictures of over the internet. There'd be like Zoraki Bunka and you see like the earth just crack and that's like what I'm feeling inside. Like ah So pretty much this chapter was just a showcase for Zoraki Bunkai. And it was awesome. I'm loving the execution of that. I wanna talk about the execution of that chapter but of just Zoraki's Bunkai so far in general. Because the execution of Zoraki's Bunkai so far has been amazing. One, because it hasn't, it weren't like, he's not, first of all, he's not talking about his bunker. He's not talking. That's a good thing. He's not like, oh, um, yeah, my ability to do all this kind of stuff, so like that. It's none of that. Two, it's like straight to the point. Like, he's coming in and he bites the man's arm off. He cuts the guy in two. He breaks the shield as well, cutting that in two as well. Like, he's not, he's not chilling about. He's like, he's not playing around. This is, this is a different Soraki. That's what I want to talk about, actually. Um, I want to talk about how this is different, because we, a, the Kampachi Zoraki that we know is, he always comes in, he keeps the eye patch on for a little bit, he wants to come in and save the fight as long as possible. This ain't the Zoraki we know. This is the, this is the new Zoraki. This is Bunkai Zoraki. Like, he's coming in, he's biting off arms, he's coming in, cleaving people in two, and he's just there, he's not even talking, he's just, like, relishing in the bloodlust, relishing in the violence. And I want to talk a bit about Soraki's Bunkai, what I think Soraki's Bunkai is. And, um, it's, we don't really know much about it. I think my theories in the last chapter, I think I thought it was going to be something like Kido based on irony right there. But uh, I, I was wrong. But, <laughs> like, I think I got too cocky in my other predictions. So I thought all my predictions would be straight, like, 10 out of 10 truth. Clearly not. But, um, either way, uh, Soraki's Bunkai, it seems like... Y Yachiru, well, Nozarashi, or whatever you, whoever you may call it. It seems like they take control of the user, and it's pretty much like an Ichigo vs. Lorde Sangetsu kind of thing. So when Ichigo was in vs. Lorde, Sangetsu was taking control. So it seems like when Soraki's in Bunkai, Yachiru, or Nozarashi, they're taking control. Because we're not, like, Kenpachi's not really conversing. No, typical Kenpachi, he'd be laughing off, he'd be like, oh, come here, let me cleave you in two kind of thing, like, ha ha ha. But he's not even talking. Like, 
the only facial expression he has off on is like straight like it's not even happiness it's just like a lion getting ready to eat like it's just straight madness um so that's why it makes me seem like Soraki's not there like his consciousness is not active that's what I really got from this chapter so um his chapter was pretty hype I'm not gonna lie it was amazing you see even like he kicks Gerard off like he he like Gerard gets backed into a corner where he literally falls off the soaking pad if he didn't have them wings like he'd be over. So I'm wondering if those wings um signify the fact that he has a full standing. Um, I don't believe so because Gerard and Panido are different. They're supposedly to be parts of the soaking. Um, so that means that their powers have always been in place, meaning Gerard Bart never ha had to give them powers. If you see what I mean. So that kind of that kind of makes me believe that they don't have a full standing. One because we didn't really see Panido use it. Um, two and if Gerard was going to use full standing, he'd probably use it now. Like, that's what I think. Um, I don't think Gerard has first that they give away. But um, I just wanted to point that out there. But I want to talk about another thing, and that's... It's not going off on that tangent. It's still the same thing about Soraki's Bunkai. Um, out of... I'm going to name four people. I was going to name five. I was going to put Eisen in there, but we haven't seen Eisen's Bunkai yet. So we need to chill on that one. We need to, like, relax on that one. So the four people... It's going to be Soraki. It's going to be uh, Irohara, uh, Kyoriku, and... Uh, wait, what? Wait... Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I was gonna say Ikutake, but we're like, we haven't seen Ikutake's bunker too. So yeah, Suraki Uehara, Kyoriku, and Yamamoto. I want you guys, in the comments below, I'm probably gonna make a discussion video for this as well, but um, I want you guys in the comments below to uh, say, out of those four, and I'll say it again, Suraki Uehara, Yamamoto, and Kyoriku, um, out of those four, who do you think, whose bunker do you think was the strongest? Um, whose bunker do you think was executed perfectly? And whose bunkai was just, in your opinion, straight hype, like the most hype. Um, I'm not going to save my thoughts right now. I'm going to leave that for another um, video. But I'm gonna, I'll leave it for another video discussion thing. But I just wanted, I wanted, like, like, I want you guys to let me know your thoughts and comments below on that. But either way, this chapter was straight hype. With, um, I want to name off one more thing. This is just a straight thought. And this may not be true or not. If you know it's on Kimpachi Iraqi's face, like his forehead... It really reminds me of Aizen's, when Aizen was in Fate Karakura Town Arc, when he was going through like the chrysalis kind of stage, and like, he had the whole thing open up kind of thing. I just want to put it out there. Maybe, I'm not sure if he's going to give any like thoughts that maybe Soraki's Bankai makes him transcendent, I'm not sure. But you know, I might as well just drop that in to just like release some kind of conversation and kind of like theories and discussions. The way this chapter was amazing, can't wait for next week to see more of Soraki's Bankai, we don't even know the freaking name. Like, how mad is that? Um, so what I liked about this chapter was, it was, the thing is why it was so good that it was quick is because we didn't see too much of Zoraki's Bunkai in this chapter, so I can't wait to see some more. I'm still hyped and interested to see more what Kubo. I'm interested to see what Kubo has more for us. Like, I wonder, um, I don't really know what his Bunkai can do. I think my theory may be a bit correct. It kind of seems a little bit logical with how, um, like, Yichiro or Nozorashi is basically taking control of Soraki's body, hence why he's in like some kind of animalistic kind of personality, like he's just being straight savage. I'm not sure, it seems like it, because he's in a straight level form. Kenpachi is literally a demon right now. He's literally like Ichigo Vastin Lord Days, Ichigo Vastin Lord Day times 10. Like, the thing is with Ichigo Vastin Lord Day, he had, he had a little bit of like, what's the word, um, uh, he had a little bit of reservation. Like, he'd stand there, he'd kind of like, he'd be silent for a little bit, but not Soraki. Soraki's kind of like going straight in, biting the arms off, cutting people in two and everything, and kind of like that. The Tim Ford's coming below we for this chapter, Shinigami Sam, I see you next week for that greatness. Chapter straight hype. Uh, let me know your thoughts, comments below. Let me know about the four people that I said, Ichigo, not Ichigo, sorry, Soraki, Kyoriku, um, Urohara and Yamamoto about whose bunker was the strongest, if it was executed the best, and whose was straight hype. Tell me what you want to comment below. Shinobi-san, I want to see you next week for that greatness. See you later. Peace.